Hey guys, welcome back again. In this video, I'll be talking about a VS Code extension, which according to me is the best extension to minify your development time. There are so many thousands of extensions for VS Code, but mostly are to prettify the VS Code or for code auto completion. But suppose you are developing an application, either the front end app like React, Vue, Angular, you need to consume an API. And if you are building your own API, then also you need to verify your API. The typical process involves leaving your dev environment and switching to Chrome or something like Postman to query the API. And according to me, that's time consuming. That is, you have to leave your development environment and you have to switch to another thing or another tab. And this extension called Risk Line comes to rescue. So let's see how to install it and how to use it. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm using this JSON placeholder API. So now suppose if you want to go to forward slash to do's, that is the JSON placeholder dot IP code dot com forward slash to do's. We have this kind of response and we get a list of to do's. Now suppose you want to consume the same API in Postman, what you need to do, you need to go to Postman and here you need to select the type of HTTP method you want to query this API for and we have to select get and then you need to place in the URL here and then you need to click on get send here. And now you will get a list of all to do's. And now suppose you need to post something that is you want to post something to this uh, API. So what you need to do, you need to go here and then you have to select the headers that is the content type. Then you have to make your body. So here is the body and then you need to select something here that is the content type and it is JSON and you need to select the method also. So we need to select post here and then you need to send. So this is a typical process of using Postman. So now let's see how does this extension called risk client helps us. So now let's switch to VS code. So here inside VS code, what you need to go, you need to go to this tab here or this button here. And here you need to search for rest client. And as soon as you type rest, this extension comes at the very top that is called rest client. And it is by a guy called Wachao Mao. And by the number of downloads, you can see that how popular this extension is. And it has got a five star rating, nothing less than that. So currently this extension is installed in my VS code, but you can install it by pressing this install button here. So now let's see how to use it. So let's go to VS code here. So here I am inside an empty folder, but this folder can be your development folder. That is suppose if you are creating a react app or any kind of app like a view or angular, so any app will do here. So what you need to do, you need to create a new file here and you can call it whatever you like. So now let me call it rest API, rest API and the extension would be HTTP like this. And now just press enter. And now suppose you may need to make a query to this uh, route here. That is this JSON placeholder dot IP code dot com. You just need to copy it once here and you need to go here and you can simply type in get and you can paste your code here that is your url here and by simply pressing command alt and r on mac and control alt and r on windows you can simply get the response here inside vs code itself and here we can directly see the headers also not only the response which we get from the server that is this response here but we are also able to see the response headers here and now let's suppose if we want to make a post request to this route so that is pretty simple just need to go to another line and you can separate your request by three hashes like this and now you can make a post request to this uh, route here that is this route and now the header you want to send here that is the content type would be simply content type and it would be application json like this and then you can simply build your json body here like this that is this to do requires a title and a completed so this would be json here title would be some title and completed would be false for now like this and then we need to pass in a user id for this api so user id just to create a demo to do here so here we are either you can send a request by pressing the send request button here or you can use the shortcut I told you that is command alt and R on Mac and control alt and R on Windows. So let's click here that is send request. And here we see that we get our response headers back here and the to do itself here. And now once you create this file that is the file for all your routes here, then you can simply come back to this file again and again and you can directly send requests by pressing the send request button and you can see the changes here itself and you don't even have to leave your development environment. 
and now suppose if you want to send authorization headers so that's pretty simple we can simply come here at the top here and let's write authorization and then you need to write bearer like this and then your JWT token something like that and now if you want to save this token that is if you want to save this uh, save this value somewhere here at the very top because you need to apply it to different routes so what you can do you can simply go at the very top here and here you can define your variables like this auth token and this would be equal to this thing here so let's copy it from here and let's paste it here and you can simply use that auth token like this and this authorization token will automatically be sent and more useful is this you can simply make a base url for all your requests so let's create a base url like this base url and this would be equal to this thing here that is this json type code.com so let's control x from there and let's paste it here and here you can simply provide in the base url like this and for this post thing also you can simply provide in the base url like this and now we can try sending our request so we see that it is working and if we send a post request to this thing here we also see that it is also working and trust me guys that i haven't been paid by this developer or something like that it is completely my call and i thought that uh, it would be extremely helpful for you guys that if you guys know about this extension because it would definitely reduce your development time and that's all about this video so if you have liked this video do hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to the channel do subscribe to my channel and if you want you can support me on patreon.com i'll provide the link in the description below so thank you bye bye tata take care and have a good day